So here's my pressure sensor and I need to attach this, but this time instead of using the alligator clips, I have to use the alligator clips with the male connections because this one, the only way to connect to this, if I hold it up here, you can maybe see, maybe not, it's a little blurry, but there are two holes here and that's what we're going to insert these pins into. So I need to pick my two wires and again, I always pick red for power. And there's always a choice of what you're plugging into. So this one has, one of them goes to power. So I'm gonna put that on the three volt pin. And then I'm gonna take the other end, that male pin, and I'm going to plug it into the pressure sensor. Now this, there is no, it doesn't make a difference which side you plug it into. So sometimes it does matter on this particular input sensor, it does not matter. So now I'm going to, it's a little tangly. I'm gonna take my yellow, alligator clip and again I still have my code on pin zero so I'm attaching it to pin zero and then I'm going to plug the other end into this pressure sensor so then I'm just going to wait and sort of see that's sort of floating in the air so I'm just going to maybe tape it down I'm going to use some of my tape that I have commandeered because obviously it's not going to get it's never going to be floating in the air like that at least I hope it won't be I'm just gonna tape this down, make sure these pins are plugged in. I don't want it flying in the air. And this tape is not gonna be conductive. Okay, so now it's down and I'm gonna look. And let's see, I have 306 right now. So now I'm gonna see if I put my apple on here. And again, the apple has like a pretty solid bottom because you wanna have good contact. I broke that earlier, so let's see. So that's 307 with this, so it doesn't pick up. So that's the one thing that I find tricky about this pressure sensor is that it doesn't show very well, but let's see if I actually push. So I'm pushing pretty hard. And you can see 1,118. Remember, this is analog, and it should be able to go up to 1,023, and you can see pushing pretty hard. I'm not getting the 23, but I am getting it pretty, I'm getting a pretty high pressure. So it does pick up the pressure when I push it. It's not picking up well when I put something heavy on it. So let's try this drink, see if that's any better. So 312, it's a little bit higher than the, than the resting state when there's nothing on it. Let's see what I get here in the resting state. So I go back to 308. I'm going to just try a few. 307. 307. And then I'm going to put my drink on. And it goes up to 312. I got 311 before. So that was 310. So it does work but it's only a slight difference. So this one is trickier. Maybe this one can be used more readily as if you like press it with your fingers to show you want something to happen. So maybe if you're designing something that you're showing that you're actually pressing, this would be a better option versus the Velostat would be something if you are resting an object on it and lifting it up. But you're gonna plug this in, you're gonna set it up, you're gonna look at your values, and then don't forget you're gonna take a picture, and the picture will show that you know how to set this up. I would take a picture just like it is right now.